What is propofol? Is it safe? The field of anesthesia has come a long way from the early days when substances like ether or chloroform were used to induce a state of unawareness and unresponsiveness to the pain of surgery. Although there have been many advances in the field, a lot about anesthesia is still a mystery. One of the drugs we have come to understand and know a lot about is propofol. The discovery of propofol in the 70s was a groundbreaking development in the field of anesthesia, although it was only approved for use in the U.S. in 1989. Unfortunately, it has gotten a lot of negative attention. Abuse of the drug was implicated in the death of the legendary Michael Jackson in 2009, which has led to much fear and apprehension about it. So many patients ask, are you going to use propofol? Is it safe? Propofol is safe when given by someone trained in anesthesiology who knows what the potential side effects are and is prepared to treat them in a hospital setting. Marketed as Diprovan, among other names, Propofol is a short-acting medication that causes loss of or decrease of the level of consciousness and recall. It is injected intravenously, which means directly into the vein, and it can be quite irritating. It works pretty fast. Within 30 to 60 seconds, most people will feel the effects and lose consciousness. A single dose wears off pretty quickly, in about five to 10 minutes. Since it is not a pain medication and is primarily used for sedation or to put someone under general anesthesia, you may also need other pain medications as well. Its appearance is white, so it's often called the milk of amnesia. So how does it work? It is believed to work in the central nervous system at the brain, and it blocks signals from being sent from the excitatory centers or GABA receptors, thus making you sleep or become sedated. When you fall asleep after propofol is injected, you will need to be monitored or observed closely. An anesthesiologist is well trained to do so and will have to provide you with oxygen and may support your breathing as well. We will also check your vital signs or heart rate and rhythm and blood pressure while you're under the influence of propofol and will ensure that they are stable and you are safe. If there are any concerns about your ability to tolerate propofol, your doctor will probably avoid using it. So don't worry. When in the hands of an anesthesiologist, you are in good hands. <laughs>